Hey, it's Joe from JoeCommentator.com, helping you succeed with test automation tools. Here are the top three error messages most people sign to learn Selenium with Internet Explorer ask me about. Number one, protected mode settings are not the same for all zones. Let's take a look at that error message. I'm just going to run a simple project I have set up already. So you can see in the JUnit test runner log, the error message, unexpected error launching into that explorer, protected mode settings are not the same for all zones. So let's take a quick look at how to resolve that. So open up Internet Explorer. Go to Tools. Internet Options. Under Options, click on the Security tab. And here are the zones that we need to fix. So there's four zones. And all zones need to have this option the same. So for example, you could see here that the first zone, it's enabled local internet, it's enabled trusted site, it's enabled, but the restricted site is not. So I just need to click on enable protected mode for restricted site and the test will run. So it's either or. Either all these need to have this option enabled, or none of them have this option enabled. So let's rerun the tests and see what happens. Excellent. So we get past that error message, and the script runs. The second most common error message is the path to the driver executable must be set by the web driver, i.e. driver system property. Okay, this usually means two things. Either you forgot to download the IE driver server.exe, or you've downloaded the IE driver server.exe, but you didn't set your environment variable path value to point to the location where that .exe is located. Let's head on over to Selenium the download section, and make sure you grab the latest Internet Explorer driver server. So I'm going to download the 32-bit, and I'm going to install it to my D drive. So if I go to my download section, you can notice I have my IE driver server.exe extracted to this location. So what I need to do next is just set my environment variable path to point to that location. So I'm going to right-click on my computer, go to Properties, Click on Advanced System Settings. Click on Environment Variables. And underneath System Variables, I'm locating my variable named Path. I'm going to click on Path, and I'm going to click on Edit. And don't delete anything. You just want to go all the way to the very end of the string. And you want to enter in the path to your IE server.exe. So I'm going to type in D downloads. Click on OK. Click on OK. So I'm going to restart JDeveloper. And I'm going to rerun the test. All right, cool. Once we set the environment variable, we should no longer receive the IE driver server error message. Excellent. So the third most popular error usually is the application's not starting. So you're just getting a listening on port message, or you're getting multiple listening on port pop-up messages without your application coming up. For example, let's run the test and see this behavior. So notice how this is the initial stop page for the web driver server comes up. But our test doesn't run. It doesn't get past this. So if we look at the test run a log file, we notice that it, we receive an unexpected error message and that it's saying that the browser zoom level was set to 125% and it should be set to 100. So this is a simple one, but it's still a pain. So just go into Internet Explorer, go into View, and just make sure that your zoom setting is set to 100%. Let's rerun our test. Excellent. So after changing the zoom back to 100, our test runs without any issues. Cool. So those are the top three error messages most people starting to learn Selenium with IE usually ask me about. Hope it helps. <laughs>